Okay, Assalamualaikum student. So this is the second session. Okay, so we have a few slides left lah for the topic uh, project time management. Yeah. Okay, so um, so I will go to slide presentation, right? Okay. Alright, so we stop here uh, for the first part yeah so say proceed with, with the second part yeah of the topic uh project uh time uh management all right so schedule control yeah schedule control involve yeah determine the current status of the project schedule yeah so reporting dates yeah okay so you have to determine the current status of your project schedule lah. Yeah, so you have reporting the dates. All right. So that is the uh, schedule control. Yeah. So you have to determine the current status based on the uh, uh, approved project schedule. Okay. And during the schedule control, you have to measure the performance. Lah. All right. So you, you, ha you have to measure the uh, percentage uh, completion of your project here yeah? completion uh, this one all right the uh, percentage completion of your project lah. yeah so actual and study also yeah measuring so you can measure the performance of your project lah. all right and then variant analysis yeah so comparing the schedule with the actual uh, progress yeah so that is the variant analysis yeah, so we compare the actual with uh, the actual with the uh, with the schedule uh, progress. Uh, yeah, so you can check the variant. Uh, yeah, so the different. Yeah, uh, between the actual and the original schedule. Yeah, all right, and identify the factor that distributed to the variance and mitigation. Uh, to narrow the gap lah. so you have to identify yeah what is the factor that contributed to the variance yeah so if there is a variant meaning that uh, the different yeah, um, between the actual date with the um, uh, the original schedule dates, yeah Okay, so that is the variant. So when you uh, have the variant, yeah, you do the variant analysis, so you get, get the variant, yes, meaning that the gap. So you have to identify yeah, the factor contributed to the variant. Yeah, and you have to find the mitigation lah, to narrow down the gap. Yeah. So by example here, yeah, so this is the uh, plan or baseline curve. Lah. Yeah, so this one, this original curve. Okay, so this is the uh, actual progress. Yeah, so when they have a variant here, yeah, so they're different. Yeah, okay, so you have to, um, during the schedule control, yeah, so you have to uh, identify lah, what is the factor yeah, that contribute to the variant. And you have to find the mitigation, lah, yeah, how to mitigate the uh, uh, variant yeah to the mitigation to make sure uh, the gap you can narrow down the gap yeah All right identify changes yes so the scope quality time and determine the effect of the project completion yeah so you have to identify any changes lah, yeah during the uh, schedule control so you have to identify any changes of the scope quality of and the time yeah and determine the effect yeah of the changes to the project completion dates yeah all right because you want to manage the time and so you have to uh identify lah, the any changes that will affect the completion of the completion date of your project yeah so you have to determine the effect lah, of each of the changes uh, that um, agreed 
yeah, for your project, right? And then managing the changes as they occur, yeah. So you have to manage lah, all the changes, yeah. Make sure the changes can uh, also complete within the time frame, all right? So that you can finish your project on time lah, all right? Okay, so this is the example. Yeah, actually, this is the example of the S curve. Yeah, so um, you can see the progress performance of your project. Yeah, based on the S curve. Yeah, normally when you uh, attend, yeah, for the uh, site meeting, yeah, so the contractor have to present this S curve. Yeah, so from the S curve, everybody will know the progress of the project, lah, whether it is a hit or slow. Yeah. Yeah. So if the project, uh, if the curve is uh, uh, at the top, so meaning that your project is a hit, lah. so meaning that your project is good, lah, the performance of your project is good. Yeah. If your S curve is below the original uh, uh, baseline, meaning that your project is delayed. Yeah. If your curve is here, yeah, at the, if your curve is like this, yeah, and yeah, the actual progress ni, yeah, progress is uh, on top of the baseline, yeah, meaning that your project is a hit lah, yeah, yeah meaning that your activity is a hit, yeah, it's good, yeah. Yeah, if your project is below yeah, the baseline, meaning that your project has been delayed. Yeah, so from the S curve, you can know the progress of your project. Lah. All right, okay, so actual uh, compare actual progress. Yeah, so this is the uh, actual. Lah. Yeah, so this is the plan progress. Yeah, so this is what you have planned. Yeah, so this is the uh, actual, uh, uh, actual activities, uh, uh, in a construction. All right. So from here, you can track whether your project is a hit or delay. Yeah. Understand how the project moving. All right. Okay. So, uh, okay. The uh, this one, I think I did explain yeah, uh, in a previous slide. If your project is up here, meaning that a front loaded, lah, yeah, the project is a hit. Yeah. All right. If your um, uh, project is below the original baseline, yeah, meaning that your project is delayed, the red color one, and yeah, back loaded. All right. So, for the summary, yeah, to effectively manage and complete a project, manager must be able to effectively manage resources and project activities. Lah. Yeah. So as a project manager, you have to be able eh, to effectively manage your resource and activity so that you can complete your project within the time frame. Lah. Right. So I think um, this, uh, this is the last slide. Okay. Thank you so much for your attention. Okay, so if you have any question, you can ask in the um, WhatsApp group, all right? Okay, and yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye, student. See you on the next check, uh, topics, all right? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.